What's going on? Back plugged in again. What's your boy, the Prophet, man? So today, got you guys plugged in for a very special, very important, very informative video. Make sure if you guys are not, you hit that subscribe button and turn on the post notification because we have so much content coming. We're almost at 20K subscribers, man. We. I really want to be at 20,000 subscribers before the end of the year is over. So please, if you guys can help me um, get to that goal, I would greatly appreciate it. We're going to be talking about one of the most iconic banners. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe this is the fourth year is the third or the fourth year of the everyone decides summons so aka the poll selection banner if you're a new player if you're you know you weren't here this time last year we'll go over everything for you guys right now so this is broken up into two rounds but there's going to be one banner with 12 characters on it so it says round one everyone decides summon select selection voting 2022 and it says it's from 11 14 to 11 17 okay so round one 11 14 to 11 17 round two 11 17 to 11 20 so we have about six days to cast our votes this is actually a very important banner for the ecosystem of the game your vote decides who will be the feature characters in the summons in the future so everyone decides summon selection vote in 2022 is here the six most popular characters will be selected from each round 12 characters in total to be featured in a future banner so how to enter follow our bleach brave souls twitter so this is the official twitter facebook page or our instagram uh, or the official discord so you have to be in one of these uh media servers that uh you know that they have officially right so check out the everyone decides summon selection voting post on facebook twitter instagram or discord and like retweet share or react to the characters post image to vote we're going to go ahead and take our talents to the discord this is what we're looking at okay so the voting selection banner round one all right so we're going to actually scroll up this okay but god i wanted to give it a little bit of time so we can take a look and see who are the highest vote getters so there'll be less speculation so uh this anatero won't make it that retu won't make it that toast won't make it so this is going to be the highest vote getter right now of course it's going to be the seventh anniversary ichigo so just keep that in mind that uh about 300 votes is going to be around the maximum on this you know website like i'm sure like twitter and stuff like that there's like higher numbers or whatever but so for sure we know that seventh anniversary ichigo is gonna uh make it swimsuit Nelliel is gonna make it love will not make it lisa might make it that lisa might have a chance to make it so she's at 180 uh the shinji might make it i can see him no kisuke so so far we have lisa and love that momo definitely not making it rangiku not making it luna rukia will make it so that's five so far that have close to 200 uh moe sukishima that tosh won't make it that inoue will be really close so that looks like the last one will probably be that inoue all right so in this um Christmas, Orihime is going to make it. Looks like she's like the lowest vote getter so far. I'm surprised this Toshiro didn't make it, but um, it's chilling. Technique, potion characters are a lot more rare, so it does make sense that she's uh, that you know that she's the leading vote getter. We have Luna Rukia that's going to make it for sure. This Shinji is more than likely going to make it. He has boosters, so he can help in a lot of guild quest weeks, especially having multiple dupes of him. Lisa is going to make it. She's just a really, really good mind character overall. This Nelia is going to make it for sure. And seventh anniversary Ichigo. All right, so we see the vote getters. Now the top vote getters for round one. So let's go ahead and talk about them. So stats and skill wise, the seventh anniversary Ichigo is one of the best characters in the entire game. Uh, 40 Berserker, Bombardment, 20 Bruiser, Debilitator, Frenzy, Hidden Enemy Chance, Share Complete Status Immunity, Sharpshooter, and Status Summon Spiritual Pressure Boost 80%. This guy has Weakening and Paralysis on everything he does. And he also has one of the best kits in the game as well. Well, he has one of the best, he has the best second strong attack in the game, the uh, 960 to uh, homing AoE Vortex. 
His first strong attack, honestly, it, it really leaves a lot to be desired. You know, it's it's going to miss large groups of enemies a lot of time. It looks really cool, but the collision kind of does miss a lot. But comparing his stats and skills, he is for sure one of the best characters in the entire game. The second vote highest vote getter is going to be this Nelly L2, the swimsuit version. She is, of course, a super potion character. So these characters are for sure going to have the highest priority. Um, not to mention, she's a seasonal character, which means you can't get her from standard tickets. Um, BBS tickets, premium tickets, five star tickets that are standard pools. You cannot acquire this character. So that does make her more rare, especially someone like seventh anniversary Ichigo. But where this character shines is that she's a super potion character with uh, the regular link slot uh, link as well. So super link slots and uh, regular link slot potions, Havoc, Devastation, Damage to Drain Enemies, uh, Forty Berserker, Bruiser. She has Drain on everything she does. So it does help keep her alive unless the enemies do resist Drain. As far as her kit, she pretty much had the same strong attack twice. She had the 750 distant AoE, hits in one phase, and then she has the two phase uh, 750 distant AoE. Her first strong attack is actually better than her second strong attack. Uh, her second strong attack locks you in place. You know, and it has um, a slower activation time. So, you know, in things like Epic Raid, you launch your second strong attack and it's going to make you vulnerable to, to the boss of damage. But other than that, you know, she does have Havoc. So she has a, a 1200 radius full screen third strong attack, which is very, very good. Very solid character overall. Like I said, her main use is the fact that she is a link slot character with super link slots as well. So the only... Uh, mine character we have a super link slot as it currently stands next we're looking at this shinji and the reason that he's voted so high is because he does have the skill called um booster so his boost has 30 percent more benefits than a standard boost i'm um, giving it a little bit over 40 percent you know normal attack uh, attack percentage defense percentage and focus so um he is going to be one of the best characters for guild quest you can just slap him in guild quest weeks that he don't even have killer if you don't have a better character because he's going to boost your team more significantly than anyone so um he does have a lot of use in that regard poise melee guild quest 30 percent and killer effect times 50 in guild quest so he's going to be a you know guild quest specific unit but that's what a lot of people are these days so you know, keep in mind, he is a flurry character, so he's going to work very well as support. Uh, taking a look at our next character, who pretty much is going to be doing the same thing. She is a ranged Aronkar killer. Basically, the booster that we have for ranged Aronkar killer. So, she's going to give you enhanced boost, and she has a, you know, killer that's really just annoying to have for being ranged. There aren't a lot of ranged around car killers floating around, especially not flurry characters. She does have follow up poise, range damage 30% in guild quest, as well as ailment reversal. So this Lunar Rukia is for sure like a keystone for ranged around car week, 100% for sure. One of the best characters for that specific week. There's no question about that. Um, we're going to look at this Lisa as well. She's just a good character all around. Team Party Mind Attribute, uh, Strong Tag Damage 20%, 40 Berserker, Increased Status Summon Chance of Heart Attribute Enemies by 10%, and Increased Status status Summon Spiritual Pressure Boost 80%. So she does have um, Paralysis and Lacerate on everything she does. So even if the, the enemies are resistant against one of her status elements, then she does have that second one. She only has Lacerate on her normal attacks, which isn't that big of a deal. But she does come with Havoc, Frenzy, and all the skills that I mentioned above. As far as her kit though, she does have a shotgun uh, 1200 by 1200 AoE beam. Her second strong attack is the same as the uh, the Nelia that we looked at, the 750 that hits in two phases. So this strong attack will lock you in place. So it's not like the best for just activation time and clearing waves, but it's still a, not a horrible strong attack. And then her third, of course, is a 1200 AoE full screen third strong attack. And then our final character looks like it's going to be the Christmas or the Hime. The only reason that she's really voted is because she has she's a tech character with the link slot skill so she does give plus five speed link slots um she also does have multi-barrier and medic so you know she can um act as a healer as a, a support character when you're doing you know 
ER or IT or IZ, whichever, you know, you happen to be farming. Um, a frenzy character, she does have had. So she once again has the uh, 1200 by 1200 shotgun beam and a 960 distant AOE second strong tech. So she has a actually really, really good kit. Uh, it actually surprised me a little bit. I haven't looked at this character in quite a while, but very, very good kit. And she is going to give you a uh, speed link slot plus five so that's going to be the main reason she's going to be voted the characters for round two that selection is going to be out in about three days make sure you guys weigh in go to whatever social media platform or the discord that you prefer and go ahead and get your vote on i do think there's going to be a really really good banner um round two is definitely going to feature like uh the seventh anniversary Udiu. well no he'll be there um the isane from this banner she's gonna be on there as well um i don't think anybody from that banner is gonna come in yeah so we'll see we'll see who all is gonna be on the um on the round two but so far round one looks really really good i'm very excited for these characters they're gonna be a great addition to many people's accounts and not even only just an addition but a lot of people are going to be summoning on post selection for dupe so make sure you guys weigh in just just so you guys know this banner does happen december 25th so this banner drops on christmas day it is essentially the week before the end of year banner so in most cases this is a trap banner it's set up to get you to drain your orbs right before the end of year banner and then the end of year banner is going to hit really hard think about this as part two to bleach brave souls anniversary because like round one we get these characters introduced and then round two we get another batch of insane characters this year we got like the power yamamoto but think about it like when this comes essentially seven days before end of year banner or six days before end of year banner then round two is going to give us some incredible incredible characters so it will benefit you not to go super crazy on this banner unless you have a lot of orbs saved or unless you can kind of anticipate what round two or what end of year banner is going to be so make sure you guys win let me know how you feel about the banner and the characters in the selection in the comment section make sure you guys hit the subscribe button hope you guys enjoyed the video till next time probably nation love y'all i'm out